Assalamu alaikum, I'm Pavel and I welcome you all to the 17th lecture of the Calculus video tutorial series. In this lecture, I will try to solve a very beautiful question. As you can see, I have already written down the question here. So, in the previous few lectures, we have solved some similar type of questions. So, I hope those who have watched those lectures, it would be very, very easy for you to understand this particular lecture. Okay. So, let's start. As you can see, the question says limit x tends to 0 and in the numerator we have 1 minus cos ax and then in the denominator we have 1 minus cos bx. Okay. So, the first thing that we are going to do here is that we will apply the formula 1 minus cos 2 theta. Yeah, here is that. Okay. So, 1 minus cos twice x. We know this formula. We have solved lots of similar problems in the previous lectures. So, I hope you already know this formula. So, 1 minus cos twice x, it is 2 sin square x, but here you have cos ax. So, how do you convert that? So, one of the trick that I discussed with you is that to remember the formula like this, whatever the value of theta here, suppose you have cos twice x okay? and in the right hand side it becomes half of that. So, you have twice x, it became x. So, if uh, it was 4x, then you would have got twice x, that means half of that theta. Now, you have ax. So, what would that become? It would become 2 sin square ax divided by 2. So, just remember like that. Using the same concept, we can write here 2 sin square bx by 2. Okay? So, the first thing we are done. Now, these two and these two, they will be cancelled out. Now, we need to adjust the theta. Okay? Suppose you have sin square ax by 2 and you have sin square bx by 2. So, what do you need in the numerator? Okay? So, it is sin square ax by 2. So, you should have a square x square by 4 here in the denominator of this expression. Okay? So, since we divide it with a square x square by 4, we need to multiply with a square x square by 4. Okay? Similarly, here you have sin square bx by 2, you need to divide that with b square x square by 4 and you need to multiply with b square x square by 4. So, now you will understand why have we divided this part because we adjusted the theta. So, now we can write this part as sin ax by 2 divided by ax by 2 whole square. Okay? So, we can write this part as like this. Okay? Similarly, we can rewrite this part as sin bx by 2 divided by bx by 2 whole squared. Okay? And here in this part x squared x squared they will cancel out 4 and 4 cancel out. So, you will have a square divided by b square. Okay? Uh, sorry one thing I just forgot to write limit x to 0. You must write this otherwise there is no meaning. Okay? So, now we apply the limit. We know that limit x tends to 0 sin x by x equals to 1. Okay, so, this part if x is 0 then a x by 2 is also 0. So, you write it that as theta. So, sin theta by theta when theta tends to 0 this value becomes 1. So, this is 1 and this is 1. 1 square 1 square. So, you have still 1. So, a square by b square. So, the answer will be a square divided by b square. Okay? Now, you can use this answer as a formula. Okay? So, let me show you how can you use this, the, use the result as a formula. So, whenever you have 1 minus cos ax by 1 minus cos bx, the answer will be a square by b square. So, if I give you some question like this, limit x tends to 0, say 1 minus cos 5x, 1 minus cos 7x. Okay? So, you can directly find out the answer using this concept. 
Okay. So, it would be 5 square divided by 7 square. So, it would be 25 divided by 49. So, it is 25 divided by 49 using this concept. Okay. And you can also do another thing. You can uh, change this part using the formula of 1 minus cos twice x and using all those steps. If you follow all the steps, finally you will get 25 by 49. If you don't believe me, you can just verify that and let me know in the comment section whether this is the answer or not. Okay. So, we have done uh, so many lectures on calculus, I mean trigonometric expressions of calculus and we will do a few more lectures, two or three lectures uh, on trigonometry and then we will move to some miscellaneous problems on calculus, I mean of limit and after that we will start the main calculus which is uh, solving using the main principle. Okay, So, that is the main part, that is the application of limit because we are learning limit to apply the main concept in those uh, particular topics. That is why we are learning all the necessary things. So, if you know all these basic things of limit then that part is going to be very very easy and you will understand what are you doing especially you will understand the application why you have uh, learned a lot of things related to limit uh, since the, you will not find the direct application of limit on those topics but the basics will be very much helpful okay that is why we are preparing ourselves to learn those particular topics. So, we have not yet started the main concepts of calculus I mean differentiation yet okay. So, the differentiation using main principle uh, that is the fundamental core topic, core fundamental topic of differentiation. So, we need to learn that and in order to solve problems related to a differentiation and main principle we have to know the concept of limit. That is why we are doing all these hard works. Okay. So, uh, that was it from today's lecture. In the next few lectures we will be discussing few more, so, uh, we will solve few more problems related to trigonometry and then we will start the main calculus part. Okay? So, see you in the next video. Till then, Assalamu alaikum, Allah Hafiz.